Okay, hi, welcome to Jofido International. In this series of videos, we're showing you uh, several steps to get you started with your foundation, I mean, your makeup beginner. Um, we're assuming you're a beginner, you're not used to this, and you want to just slowly get into the hang of things. And like I said in the previous video, which was introducing it, um, I got inspired by my daughter and my friend who are struggling with starting their, their makeup journey. So that's what we decided to uh, create this series of videos to help people who are in similar position. So in this particular video, we'll be looking at foundation. And foundation is our step four. So the other video we had, step one, step two, step three, if you can just go back on that video to get you started and so now we're in our step four stage which is the foundation and step five adding the loose powder or setting the foundation in place which is the loose powder so welcome on board okay my name is joy fido in case i had not mentioned it and i'll be taking you through this step which is the foundation and the loose powder stage so let's get cracking in one of the previous videos as well, we had shown you how we mixed our foundation. So this is our foundation that we're going to work with. Um, and then what we did was we worked with so many brands, which some of them were Smashbox. Um, another one was Fenty Beauty. Another one was um, Lancome so many others so you can if you want to know how this was done just go back on that video and freshen your knowledge about how we created our own scientifically i love to say that we scientifically played with what other people had created to have um a foundation that will now be uniquely matched to your own personal skin and so this was the one we created in that video and this is the one i use on a daily basis so let's get cracking okay so the first thing we want to look at is the brush we use our foundation um this was quite a cheap brush for me i got it from primark if you're in the uk um the one i use for foundation as well is that one both of them can do concealer I mean, I use this for my um, not concealer. So both of them can do both concealer and foundation. So you can decide which one works for you. I don't like this side because it takes a lot of um, products. So I prefer the smaller sides. So I've got a hint of my foundation already on, the, on this brush. And I'm going to start applying them. So that goes on and then you start putting it in place remember this plate this face has already been set with our um, concealer and color corrector so a hint of foundation and then we we'll just put it all over the face face now So I'm just showing you what I'm doing now so you just see how one side looks first before I carry on and finish it off. So foundation is basically making sure that everything's blending together and it's all coming together adding up to give you that flawless face. And I'm sure you remember what my face looks like before I started this whole process. It's quite interesting because um, I got people telling me all kinds of things when they see some of my makeup pictures and they go, or makeup images, my face all made up and they go, oh, you are bleaching. Bleaching is such a bad thing. Yeah, it is a bad thing, I agree. but you can use any foundation to create any image you want so that's the secret you don't know if you are good at this you can you can make your face as 
light as you want it to be or as dark as you want it to be. That's what the movies have been doing over the centuries and we never knew. Because they can make up anyone to look like 90 years old or look like 12 years old. Is is down to the makeup artist. I, I should know about that because I had one of my students who who is quite an expert at makeup for movies, not daily makeup, but makeup for movies. And so when you are there, calling me names and do whatever you like it doesn't really bother me because I know what, what's going on. See that foundations in place, but naturally I'm gonna go around finish it all off and then tell you where they loose part that's um setting part that comes in to set it all together okay so foundations are in now you don't just leave your foundation like that next thing we look for is what they call the beauty blender and one of the best brands is this one called Ray techniques uh, happen to have them i love some of these things i just love keeping them because i don't like to run out of them and you can see the one I've used over and over and over. Now there's a trick to this. This is another one called Pro Blending Sponge. There's a trick to this. Remember to wash your sponges from time to time so they look clean and they stay healthy, no bacteria is growing in them. But one of the good, best things my daughter taught me was when you're washing them, make sure it's the soap you use on your face. This is one of the mistakes we've been making I know I made it, I just go get the washing up liquid and I go and I'm washing my beauty blender not remembering that that washing up liquid is going on my face. So let it be the soap, whatever, found it, um, what's it called, uh, shower gel, whatever it is you use on your face, that's what you use to wash it because it's going on your face. Hope that's giving you some little trick about this today. So I'm going to work with the one I normally use no big deal to it another little trick again is let it be a bit damp remember let it be damp because if it's not damp it's going to just take away all the foundation that you put there so if it's damp it allows it to sit in place so this is what you're doing you just press it in place so you're not just leaving it to just sit there and be glossy all over your face so remember your foundation has to be completely blended in that's what they call it beauty blender now some people use brush but this beauty blender does a good job oh there was something else that came out at some at another time it's like it's like a toothbrush but quite nice as well i have it somewhere but i can't make out exactly where it is and that was another thing some people use, but I am just um, kind of a beauty blender addict. I kind of like it because it does the job for me. Um, remember, the thing with makeup, and I can tell you this clearly, not just makeup. The thing with everything in life is we're just looking for the easier way to do things. This is where technology comes in and helps us to progress in life. So if you're one of those people who really hate technology and you don't want to be bothered with it, you're actually being left behind if you don't know that. Because I've, I've done a video where I try to explain that we really must move on in life. Go with the flow. When new things come out, don't say, I hate that one. I want to resist it. Try it. If it doesn't work, then you say, okay, I don't want to deal with it. This beauty blender is one of those new things that came out that really really helps lots of us with our makeup so you see how i'm just touching up to my brow and going in between to also touch where i had that unibrow effect i'm coming out and now see what i'm doing the edges of my hair i'm trying to make sure my foundation is also going in there so it's not giving me a two-tone look See that let it blend in um when i'm done i'm definitely i'm wearing my wig hence so i've got my wig cap on but this has to sit in well and if i was tying head tie or gilly which you've seen in the video recently or 
from time to time. We do different videos. Again, make sure that your foundation is sitting well before you go throwing on your gilly. So that's what's going on here. Um, can you see it's all blended in? And then the next place is your neck. Um, let me just push this down as much as well. Lots of people still get that wrong as well. Face different, neck different. Try and connect them. And this is why sometimes when you finish, you find that your clothes have eaten half of the makeup as well. Um, I've seen people who use concealer to conceal their arms and their ears and if you wanted to um, somehow my ear blends in with my foundation mostly so I don't need to do much of that but see the corners I'm making sure it goes in make sure it goes so it connects your face and every part of you um, this is where makeup will really go wrong when people have here a different shade and here a different shade so just try and let everything go together that's what that beauty blender does try and make everything sit well and if you're not happy uh, with the with the finished look feel free take more foundation and put in place um you notice i'm kind of fighting with my the hair down there um normally i would not do a, a video without waxing them off but i needed to get this video done because if i don't create this time it's not going to happen in a long time so i decided let me just do it but if you're doing like a great thing happening maybe you're going for a wedding or a big party please please put in the effort and get get them um, and get everything clean before you start applying your makeup and all that So anyway, you're not happy, just touch it up a little bit and conceal it or blend it in nicely. That's there. And that's there, just to blend it in nicely again. And you're going to find what I'll do next with, um, with concealer again. I mean, I, I see some some videos where people spend so much time and they're piling on different products and products and products that's why we just put this into steps so that you just know that once you've got this bit you don't need to worry about it anymore so this is that stick foundation this is the elf one no foundation the concealer this is where they come in handy again you finish you're not happy you just come and just line them over where whatever it is is that you're not happy with so remember our stick fun uh, stick concealer you just apply it to wherever you don't want you're still not too happy with and sometimes it could go like that it could go like that just to brighten those areas And that's done and then you beauty blend it in blend 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 see that
and that's um that's foundation blended in um what you can then do again is if you find um that it's still it's affected your your eyebrow you just come back again with the with the con with the brush that you were using because you don't need to apply any more foundation on them and you clean it off again if it's made your brow look a bit rough to give it that sharp clean look please please what you do just keep watching this video over and over again and practice yeah just practice makes perfect you know what they say just play with it um you're not going anywhere you you're you're free at home just sit with yourself in the mirror watch it try it on because with time you're gonna get so good and you'll be the one even teaching other people um but for now you just want to oh i removed that in that for now you just want to get this right and i can tell you why this is the case my my two older daughters when they started i used to make their makeup i used to do their makeup but now they're so good at it that i don't even go anywhere near their face they know what to do and they come out so amazing i mean you've seen some of the pictures we do and they do their makeup and i i learn from them now some things you know like like i said about technology things are changing every day so if you stay static they move on and leave you behind so when i say any new thing they've done and like, i don't know oh, could you please show me how you achieved that one and they show me so it's about practicing practicing and staying with it see something you just try it out and see and then you incorporate it to suit your unique person your personality don't think um you have to look like everyone else don't think this is how they do it and that's okay no anyhow you do it that works for you it's okay there's no rules don't allow anybody to tie you down with rules so that's foundation we've sorted out so now let's get into our loose powder which is step five okay so now we're ready to set this foundation that we put in place and my favorite favorite loose powder is called sasha there are other ones you hear banana powder um, different types of powders it has to be loose i mean sometimes some people use the white one i've seen white ones here and there with different people um but i absolutely if i'm really really trying to have my foundation looking really nice this is the one I, my go-to one sasha so next thing you want to do is get a good brush for your for your loose powder um i've also played with using the beauty blender there's another beauty blender i have that i use in trying to get this one the um, loose powder in place and it never sits well like when i use this this again my daughter taught me the trick other people use like this really triangle um it's a bit like beauty blender but they're foams and they're triangular and what you could do what i tend to do with them is i just get them if they're really full of powder and i go drop my face i just go like that see that it just creates like a patch and i do that you hear some people say um baking they want to bake their face so this is where baking comes in so um powder on the brush and you just apply it the brush just goes into your face like that so what this does it takes away that shine that the foundation left on your face No, I like to put it everywhere. Um, I'm sure you also see other people who do their makeup and then they, what they do 
Remember how we put the steps. After I did the eyebrows, some people will immediately use their um what's that thing? Eyeshadow. Um but because I'm taking it step by step and I'm trying to teach someone who's not used to this, you find that eyeshadow may not be what you're actually looking for at this stage. You just want to get a nice looking face to go out with. And so eyeshadow is like going step, step, steps away. So when you find it, um, your loose powder in place, um, why I make sure it's sitting or it's touching my eye. I think um, eyeshadow plays or corner is because if we don't really go in there and do that it creates like a gap and then that if you look at you see that that um, foundation now sits there and creates a problem it just sits there and kind of creates a demarcation um, I think they call it the eye crease this little bit we see when i close when i put my eyes down you see how it sits on top of each other that's the eye crease so if you kind of not close um really dab it down the eye crease becomes too it starts to create a demarcation between the the eye crease and then you are or rather the eye crease cr creates a demarcation um i don't know if i'm making sense in that particular explanation but yeah so you make sure that it's really sitting smoothly in place so kind of like seal everything in ah oh, so um i'm i'm going to just let some not overdo some because um this is a video for a beginner Yeah. Okay, so that's our loose powder in place. How the face together. So I think that was the step in this particular video: getting the foundation in place, getting the loose powder in place, and that's done. So we we hope you liked it. We hope you made a bit of sense. Um, if you liked it, share with your friends. Give us a thumbs up um subscribe because then so many more is coming remember we said it's a 12 step process and we just finished step five so see you in the next steps